Guys, we're gonna start probably the best match of this um, of this day. In terms of pace. It is Solary versus Airwalkers. Both with very similar logos, as you can see here. Never mind, you cannot see it there. But you will see it in the top. Yeah, I do not see the emotes anyway on top, so it doesn't matter, but I mean, it is what it is. So we have Edge as the first map, and uh, it is Carl Jr. Pack versus Stuftz and Wizzy. So there you can see the logos, very similar. Both teams won their first match. It was Solary who played against um, Gravity Pivo and Wizzy and Stuftz. Paid against Orcus, who are already eliminated. So there you go. Good luck to the teams. You have to win four maps in order to win the match. And let us see. Who will take it? Me, probably the match of this weekend. Because it's old versus new generation. And Carl Jr. Already a little bit further behind here in this first round. Pack off to a very good start. Also minimize airtime there accordingly. And Stuftz. With a good line there. But Pack with a way better apex. Has more speed. Stuftz minimizes airtime accordingly. So it's a fight between... Netherlands and also the UK. Not Wizzy. I mean we have two UK players in here. Pack and Wizzy. And then Stuft is from the Netherlands and Carl Jr. from Canada. So there you go. First um, kind of identity. I mean, this map does not really have an identity. And Stuft in the lead. Very good line there as well, but Pack just gathers up so much more speed. And Pack could win this round. Stuft with a good approach there as well. Could get this here. It's so close, but Stuft hesitates. And it's Pack with a 104.5 winning the round. Oh god, dude. Call Junior on third, and Wizzy after a mistake, cannot really match the pace on last. Victory. I'm f rooting for, I would say I'm more rooting for Airwalkers, but to be realistic, I think uh, Call Junior and Pack will win it. Oh, Stuft's with a respawn. Maybe they're actually shaking. Who knows, who knows. And Stuft's with another respawn. Oh, Carl Jr. going so close there to the wall. Still finding himself in uh, that contention for second place. But Stuft is definitely out on that one already. He is point... Like, point behind. He's point 15 seconds behind. And also Wizzy with a mistake. So, Pack on another level in this round, and Carl Jr. in the lead, so... Looks to be like an ace for Solary, and a clean sweep on that number one in just four rounds, if they continue like that. Let's see Pack's time. I think Pack on a monster right now, even though he lost a bit of speed there. But gets the gear corner. Carl Jr. comes dangerously closer, though. So Pack definitely lost 0.5 in the end. And Carl Jr. with PB. It's 5 to 1. Looking very good so far. Yeah, Stuft's a bit behind. 35 seconds there. Yeah. That is not good. <laughs> um. Heh. <laughs> you really want to rhyme air on air? Come on. Oh, first mistake happened. Pack fully into the wall. Probably giggling that one away. So he's out. There's a Carl Jr. with a uh, conservative slide. Will jump so far up. So that's Wizzy and Stufts able to come back from that. And finding their way into this map. Oh, but Wizzy. Oh, no. This is... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. So that was uh, very unfortunate. Now Carl Jr. and Pack with that in the lead. In ahead of Wizzy, not ahead of Stuftz. 
Stuft can save it into the finish. Stuft will win. Carl Jr. Interesting slowdown there. 0.69 from Stuft. Carl Jr. and Pack on third and second and third. It's 6 to 2. It's a good time from Stuft, though, but Wizzy, with that mistake, cost him the round win, so. Very unfortunate. So the 2006 World Champion did not play, no. I will see Carl Jr., five times World Champion. He is playing, as you can see here. Dude, I also explained that to my girlfriend today. This, this emote, emote lingo with Carl or with Car J and Thomas. She especially liked the Thomas emotes. <laughs> because I showed her the 7TV uh, stuff and the 7TV emotes and she found that really funny. <laughs> so guys, keep it up. Keep it up. <laughs> but you also have to put in something in. Put something in there. <laughs> so Stufz and Wizzy had the chance, but now it's Pack and uh, Carl Jr. just walking away with it. Three PBs in this round, three times below 105. So 8 3 it is for Solary. And it's track point already. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, Carjini with a mis- not with a mistake, but his teammate. Wait, why is there a free wheel block? Oh my god, that is so punishing. You cannot- like- <laughs> Oh my god. I didn't realize that you cannot clear it if you don't make the jump. I didn't know that. Well, but now Airwalkers have to apply some more pressure onto Carjini and preferably have to get that ace. And uh, Stuftz with a clip, and he will not clear the jump. Stuftz with a respawn. Where's Pack? Pack is out of Stuftz, so that means that Carl Jr. and Pack could win this map here and now if they just survive. Wizzy has different plans. Wizzy with a good line. Carl Jr. almost clipping there, but he will survive it, and uh, Carl will take it with a good time, a good pace in general on this map. From both teams, even though this is so hard to get Regu. And pack on thirds. So there you go, Solary. One, Airwalker, zero. And also, thank you very much, Lakanta, for the raid. Your countrymen are playing today as well. So just that you know, they play in roughly... They start at 22 CEST, so in four and a half hours. So thank you very much for the raid. I hope you've had a good stream. I really appreciate it. And welcome, Raiders. I'm Lucas Sturbo, caster and content creator for alternate attacks, but also covering the World Championship. So I cover all matches. All possible matches. So now we have G-Force. I think this one could be a close one. Dude, it's very early for him, no? True. True, true, true. Solary versus Airwalkers. Holy bad chest. <clears throat> but guys, also again, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for all the resubs. Thank you for um, the follows as well. If it's your first time here, you're hugged and welcomed. And let's go into round number one. And see what Carl Jr. and Pack can do against Wizzy and Stuftz. I think I've not played this... Ah, oh, they have actually decent PBs, but only 0.8s. So those times are not the fastest. We have seen a 0.4 today already. Or was it a 0.3 from Better Toast? And also the loser of this match will play against Gravity Pivo. At 19. Oh, Stufz and Wizzy with a great start. Pack also with a good eyesight over the... Anti-booster. 
And Peck with a good break tap, but Stuft's on a great time right now. 42.9 is a quite decent checkpoint. And Stuft's will get himself that victory. Oh, very good line from Schuft. Let's take a look up to the checkpoint. 102.29! Wait a minute! We could see a new world record here, ladies and gentlemen, if Stuftz survives the ending, and he will do so, and there you go, 112.21 from Stuftz, asserting dominance, setting a new world record on G-Force. Wow. Oh my god, dude. What a first round here, starting it off with a bang. And to give you guys some sort of statistics on this map, this is a very good map for Airwalkers. I think they played this map three times, and they won three times as well. Yes, they have a 32 to 11 win-loss ratio, and of course now we have a new world record as well. So that was a very, very good time from them. And Wizzy and Stuft are not slowing down. Pack is still in there. Stuft with a quite unconventional bump there. But still gets a lot of uh, speed around that corner. Pack also now in the mix. Very good round here between the players. That's why I said this is the best match of this group or middle stage event. As Stuft again finds himself a lead. Goes so tight around that corner. Pack still in there as well. Wizzy not too far behind. No one eating the penalty surface to go for maximum speed outcome. And Stuft again on a great time. Pack slowing down. Let's take a look on the Stuft checkpoint. It's another 102.20. We could see a back-to-back -back world record from Stuft if he survives the ending here. Stuft with another world record. A 112.021. What? Back-to-back -back again. There is no way. <laughs> what? What? One twelve o two, insane speed in the ending, and Stuft's with perfect release timing there to get around that corner as well. Five one for Airwalkers, and we go to round number two. Wizzy with so much speed here due to the break tap, the wheel player. Just shows us that he also set a good time in the previous round. A 112.45 completely gets overshadowed shadowed by Stuft's world record. And Stuft's now with a mistake. Karma is hitting, but he was pushing it. Kaljini and Pack could win this round. Solary is still not out on this map just yet. So this could be the counter ace after world record. After back-to-back -back world record, but Pack with an unusual mistake. But Kaljini is still on a great time there. Still a good time from Carl Jr. Can be acquired. Oh, Wizzy had to readjust. Will make that mistake. Pack will overtake. In the meantime, Carl Jr. will still set his sub-113 time. And uh, there you go. It is 4-5. to five. Solary answering. Hectic round, though, has happened. Wow. Let's calm down, everybody. Let's take a deep breath. Let's take it together. <sighs> Repeat it. <sighs> and let's jump into round number four. Ah. Airwalker's pick. Solary answering with the ace. Due to two individual mistakes from Stuftz and Wizzy. Stuftz in the bobsleigh. Wizzy nearby the ending in the first part of the identity. And now Carl Jr. is cooking something together with Wizzy and Stuftz. And they're going for a nice three-way three, three -way menu <laughs> with some side dishes. Oh, and look at that. Stuft and Wizzy, Wizzy with so much speed out of that one. But it's so close between them. Stuft again so far in the lead. This could be another great time from Stuft if he just survives the ending. This is so much speed accumulated from Stuft as well. This could be a new world record again. This could be a 111.8 if Stuft gets the ending across. Yeah, let's take a look up to the checkpoint. A 102.24. So this is not matching the pace. That is a point one or a point two. 
It depends all how much speed he has. He gets the nose dive. Not the best ending yet. A point eleven. That is pretty weak, Stifts. Not even a sub. Not even a sub. Yeah, weak. Stifts, come on. <laughs> Dude, what the hell, man? What the hell? Like, that's insane. Stufts pace on this map? Absolutely bonkers. Wow. What a great match. So maybe you see why I think that this is maybe the best match that we're gonna witness. But I think we also have to wait for Group B. But Stuft start. Oh my god. Oh, diddly do. Let's see the speed of the cruise control. Looking great. And Stuft's leading by 0.3 of a second here. Look at that. Let's see this party as well. Stuft is failing it a little bit. Lost a bit of time, but gets a very incident around that corner. But he slides out. And also Wizzy is behind. Those individual mistakes could really seal the deal. And it doesn't matter really. If um, Stuft and Wizzy getting world records or good times. Pack and Carl Jr. are just so consistent. And they will go into the lead on this map. And look at that checkpoint from Pack as well. Keep in mind, Stuft was 0.3 ahead. So that's what that was another 112 low pace. And it is a draw. So what happened to Carl Jr. there? He got a very flat landing. And with that, he lost... B RPM and also the gear and did not make it. I think this was not really savable. A very unfortunate there for Solary actually. Because that is something that he cannot really predict. Oh, and you hate to see that, especially in this kind of situation. But the Airwalkers are also a bit lucky with that, but that's sometimes what you need. Track point for them. They could take it home. And also those exits from um, from. Uh, Cruise control, I wanted to say, from Rob Slave blocks is very, very hard in general. Yeah, Stuft, again, I don't know what he has prepared at the start, but he just has a different line. He jumps so left to the Bob Slave block to just get a smooth landing and a good entry into the Bob Slave corner itself. And we have Stuft now, not with a mistake. Wizzy also on second place. Good turn there from both players, from the Airwalkers. And Peg and Carl Jr. have to push here in the ending. Wizzy with a different approach. Very, very good line from the players. Peg do not, does not touch the wall, and Stuft is so far ahead. Almost touching the wall. Peg, however, has a bit more speed. This could be sub-113 from all players here. Let's take a look into the ending. Peg with a good jump here as well. Stuft still in the lead. Wizzy's also in there. 112.102.50 checkpoint from Stuft. And he will win the round. The question is, what position will Pack be on? Pack will get second and Wizzy on third. So we go into one final round and look at that. Imagine being last with a 112.86. Good round. Very, very good round between all of those players. And now Solary needs an ace to win this map. One out. And Airwalker is just in need of a second place. Second and fourth would be enough. Second and third, obviously, as well. First position, definitely, yeah? But it is Pack. Not with the best start, so let's follow the British player. Oh, that was really good from Pack though. Stuft and Wizzy also have gotten it really well. Oh, it is Stuft sliding out. Pack overtaking Wizzy there, and that's why the world champions can shine here. The new versus the old generation, and Pack finds himself in the lead. Carl Jr. also on insane pace right now, and this could be over if Solary just survives this ending section. Wizzy still can snipe away that one point. Carl Jr. on great pace as well. 102.50. Pack still in the lead ahead of Wizzy. And there you go, it will be the ace for Solary, and they will also win map number two. They stay calm and collected, drive a point sixty two and a point sixty nine, and it is enough to beat Airwalkers. Wow. Like, th that's why they are the world champions. Brutal for Airwalkers that they lose after <laughs> Stuft setting a kind of three world records. Yeah? So that was just brutal.
Wow. What a performance. Wow, wow, wow. Map number three, Solary leading 2-0. And let us see how Airwalkers can answer on Twisted, my favorite map. And I'm happy to see Cole Jr. and Pack crushing Bing's world records. I think they're gonna beat it. They're gonna beat it, maybe even in this round. Cole Jr. and Pack are looking very strong on this map. I, I just assume, because Slowdown also was a good map for them, but we're seeing Pack setting a lot of new world records. And uh, there you go. Good round though. Stufz and Wizzy also with good PBs. 104.6. Maybe they did not have to push so far because you can see Stufz has no online PB. So that means that they have not played this one in a match scenario. But Pack so far ahead. Stufz with a good line here as well. But Pack 0.13 ahead already. Carl Jr. on third position right now. And it's the world champions who could go into the lead on this map here. As Pack finds himself. So far ahead, and this could be a great time. The first sub 104, it could be. Let's see, a pack not with the best ending. And it's still a 103.98. He lost so much time in the end. It's still a point ninety eight, And also Call Jr. staying ahead of Wizzy, who set a PB. Was his first finish in a match. Solary. So far ahead. Yeah, I still need some... Um, some kind of... Uh, how you say that? Some checkpoints to work with. I have them. Oh. Oh, you have also seen from Wizzy there. It was very hard for him to readjust because he plays with wheel. On um, GeForce, it's really good. <clears throat> On this map, I don't know. I, we still need a resemblance of how good the times are with the checkpoints. Yeah. So I'm going to take a look onto the checkpoint now. Is it a 45.1, Yekosto? Or what checkpoint do you need before the identity? Let's just see what checkpoint uh, cult pack will have here. 4540, okay. All right, all right. So this will not be, that will only be a 104 low. But I mean, that's the mud calling for airwalkers. It's a point 13 actually. Okay, so point 10 is, point one is a really good checkpoint. I see, I see. Still a good time from Pack though. Like a point one, this could have been then maybe a point seven. Also, I forgot to mention whoever wins this match will qualify to the offline finals and is, is top eight guaranteed. Just wanted to mention that here on the side note. Yeah. Because right now, Carl Jr. and Pack look to be this team. A oh, very good start from Carl. Pack going for so much speed with an additional speed slide. Carl Jr. decided to minimize the distance that he travels. And that is just unmatched pace from Carl Jr. and Pack right now. Just de demolishing their opponents. And uh, let's take a look onto the checkpoints. Very good speed from Stufz though, overtaking. And it's good pace from all players, actually. Pack leading right now with a point seventeen checkpoint. This could be a new world record, but no, he touched. It was Stufz, actually, who touched. Never mind. And Pack was behind. Stufz was in the lead. And Pack is in there. Sometimes I'm getting a bit confused by the car skins. But they're just me being dumb. And what a great round. Wow. <laughs> point one between all players. Wow, what a good round. And Solary with another ace. 9-0. So, <laughs> Airwalkers needing three aces in a row, and then they need to win another round in order to get that victory. Good round, though. 0.1 of a second, and that's why I love this map. We're gonna have more of those close rounds as Pack. Have you seen the clip there? His car did some wild stuff there. Also, the count is here there from Pack. 
pixel perfect just before the small jump. I admire the skill from Pac and Carl Jr. in those like small situations. And there you go, Pac and Carl Jr. coming to play today. <laughs> and they not want to lose a map. They just want to qualify. But we still go to serve afterwards. So Carl Jr. with a good checkpoint, point two. With a good ending, we could definitely see a sub 104, but also a new world record if Carl Jr. survives the ending. That was good. Is that a point seven? No, it's a point 98, but still four aces in a row. Airwalkers getting the treatment that uh, attacks got yesterday on Tempest. They get 12 0'd. But not from ITB, from Solary. Three zero, it is. And that jump to the second pick from Airwalkers, it is Surf. First round coming into play. Let's see what Stufs and Wizzy can do on this map. I really want to see their um, win rate on this one. I think this comes into play now quite a bit. On uh, Surf. Firstly, let's focus on the first round as we have the first small mistake from Carl Jr. who is a little bit further behind. So he will not play a role, a significant role. On uh, this one. And Stufz and Wheezy are on first and second right now, so Pack has to push. And uh, in fact, Stufz and Wheezy have a 100% win rate on this map, playing this map twice. So they're looking strong, 20 to 9. And Pack with a good line there as well, can overtake and he will do so. Two thousandths of a second, a 101.023, denying the draw and taking that one additional point. Pack had just a bit more speed in the end. And uh, eventually they took it home. Wow. Victory. Solary also played this map. They won 10 to 3 against Gravity. Pivo. And Pack also drove a sub 101. Look at that. Only four thousands away from his fellow countryman. So maybe Pack can set a new world record on this map in this round. Good sliding over there as well. You know, entering the water with a bit of a tilt to get a bit more speed out of that one. But it's Stufts with a great start. Maybe Stufts will even go for a world record. Like the pace from Stufts and Wizzy is there, but they just need to make sure to close out those matches. Or those maps a bit more in their favor. Oh, and Stufts is so far ahead. This could be a great time as well. Oh, beautiful outside dirt line from the Dutch player as well. Carl Jr. and Pack behind. Stufts getting the zoop as well. He's so far ahead. This could be a very good time. Maybe even a point eight or point seven. Let's see. Maybe the others did not have the best run, but I doubt that. Stufts will finish here with a new world record. Second in this match. One minute, point eighty-four. There you go, but still only a draw because Wizzy is point six behind. And Pack and Carl Jr. squeezes, squeezing themselves in between. But the world records do not really matter. Solary does not really show any reaction on that. They don't show any reaction. They still ahead. And also in this round, Pack off to a monstrous start. Can maybe even beat the former set former set world records. Thank you, Pack. Thank you very much. Yeah, great job, Pack. Now it's Stufts versus Carl Jr. in the end. 
First question is, who will get the Zoop? Both players, but Stuft's got it a bit better. Kaljini with a wider approach, goes for a bit more speed. And also here, wider before the long drift. And Stuft's will win the round with another great time. However, Stuft's and Wizzy equalizing the score. It is 4-4. Four to four. <laughs> So another good time. And just keep in mind, Packstart, who just... I, he doesn't want to finish. He doesn't care. He thought about it, he was like, nah, let's not finish. Let's not finish. Let's just chill here. And uh, observe the map. From a little bit further back. Next round, still open map for Airwalkers to take, but they have to win this map, and then they have to go to Cosmos. Another great map for Solary, because it's just a tech map. Like, Cosmos and uh, Twisted are very techy. And just good maps for Call Junior and Pack, but look at that. Pack so far ahead, this could be another world record. Wizzy, however, with a good line there as well. Pack going for so much speed there. Look at this line from Pack, just tailoring himself so perfectly through this section. And there you go, a PB, a PB for Pack, and not a world record. This would have beaten Epos' time, Epos's time, but it wasn't meant to be. Victory. By just three thousand of a second. Epos has a 1 minute point 92.8 as his PB. And Airwalkers, they won this map against Robbers 10 to 8. Maybe that's also some useful piece of information. Against the Epos and Razi. And it seems like everyone who sets a world record just cannot win a map. Yeah. Especially in this kind of constellation now. Con constellation of this match. Pack again on a great time. What is this guy doing? He's just unstoppable. He wants to get that world record. Very good outside dirt line as well. Good approach there as well. Constellation. Con constellation. Like, my god, dude. Yeah, there's guys, thank you. Yeah, listen. There's the word Constellation. What do you want now? Constellation. Yeah, I did see the time, but the chat is again wrong, man. Yeah, you guys are trolling. That is an insane time. What does it mean? Konstellation in German. <laughs> uh, combination. Line up. Yeah. Dude, pack is crazy, but look at Stuft's pace. Guys, that's why I was not commentating the round, because Stuft's is on a massive time right now. Stuft's on a massive time. Look at that. Stuft's can even beat the time from pack that was set beforehand. Stuft's with a great ending, and Stuft's will drive a... 0.66. Okay. Not beating the time, though. But still only 0.13 away. <laughs> From the world record. <laughs> what are those times, guys? Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, Pack. Who? What a time. 8-7 it is. Solary with match points. And let's see what they have. 48.4? Okay. That's a... that's very useful. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. 
Yeah, it really depends on the zoop, but still, we can see that. But Stuft's again off to a great start. Pack is also not too far behind. Good speed from both players over the water section. Carl is behind, but only by 0.2 of a second here. Let's go into the round. Here to the identity. Pack and Stuft's both not touching there, but it is Wizzy with a mistake. And it's between Stuft's and Pack. Stuft's is so far ahead. The 0.60 checkpoint it is. So another great time. Could be another 0.8. Uh, and Carl Jr. with a mistake. This could be very costly because Stuft's gets first. And Wizzy on third. It is 9 to 9. 9 to 9 here. We still have uh, one more round to play for. Victory. Or even more. Yeah, could go into overtime. Could go into overtime. Paul Shem in the chat. Let's see. Can Airwalkers win a map against a very, very strong team, Solary. Like the point fifty fifty three two from back. That is insane, really. This is insane. Stufs and Wizzy in need of first and third position in order to win this map. First and last would mean overtime. But Stufts off to another insane start. But Pack also with a great line over in this section. Carl Jr. can solely not match the pace in this round. Oh, and Pack had to readjust. Let's take a look onto Stufts. What is that checkpoint? A point forty-two checkpoint from Stufts. We could see another new world record. And Stufts is pushing it here. Stufts is pushing and only has the ending left to be cleared. Stufts with a new world record here. Never mind. Point eighteen. 018 away from the world records. I thought it was enough because this ending was just pixel perfect. But we go into overtime. We still have another shot. Guys, come on. It was so close, okay? Never mind. <laughs> Guys, it was 18,000, okay? I tried. I tried. 10 to 10. Overtime. Long time I have not seen that. And that just shows how close those teams are together here. And Wizzy has to has to perform. Like Stuft is so far out again. Point two of a second. What a start from Stuft. Oh my god, dude. Stuft is so far ahead. Ahead of pack. And it's just like it's mesmerizing to see that. Let's see. The outside dirt line. Stuft so close. Gathering up so much speed. Stuft's with another good checkpoint at point 49. This is another good start or a good entry into the identity from Stuft's. But Pack can win it here if he gets the ending across. Stuft's can save the day and Stuft's will do so. Pack with a mistake. Pack will get bumped up and Wizzy overtakes. There is no way. Pack. <laughs> no. Oh my god. No way. Pack hit the reset block on top and will not finish here. It is Airwalkers winning their first map. We go to Cosmos, and we could see a new world record being set here as well. Guys, I think we just witnessed the best map so far in this World Championship. I'm not sure how the match was yesterday between Solary and um, Gravity Pivo on maybe something like G-Force. I have no idea. But that was just insane. Really, that was so good. Really, really good. Oh my god. Alright, let's go into the next map. We see Pack getting the gear. Carl Jr. as well, but there's one person, the teammate from Wizzy, who did not hold the gear in this section. So it is Stuft's behind. Let's jump into this first taste of the identity. Pack and Carl Jr. first and second. Wizzy 
Tries to match the pace. But I think that's a Call Jr. and Pack map. By the looks of it. But still Wizzy with a very good line there, but it's not enough. And Pack and Call Jr. are on first and second. The hit here. The plastic hit was patched out. Still a very good find. I think um, Team Trident went for that one. But let's see. Okay, 103.48 checkpoint. I want to see what time this is going to be from Pack with a decent identity. Yeah, 0.48 checkpoint leads to a 113.29. Okay, 48. So a low checkpoint is good. Right? Is that the uh, is that the uh, results? I think so. But a good snipe there from Wizzy. And it's 2 to 1. Solary still didn't get the ace that they got on uh, on Twisted. And again, Wizzy struggling to find the start. Yeah. Maybe also an insane identity is uh, is possible, but checkpoints are always very important to uh, to keep in mind. But let's let's uh, let's observe this one a bit more because pack with a great start, again leading by point one, and see if he can maybe beat his PB here of 113.21. But there's also Stufz in the mix. Wizzy, again, cannot match the pace. Stufz with a good line, almost touching the wall. Good lines there from all the players. Stufz, Carl Jr. and Pack inside of each other. Stufz with a good line and he will win that round here with a great identity. A point twenty six, Top 3 in between 500 of a second. And there you go, it's 3-2. to two. Celery again coming closer to the map win and match win. Very advantageous. We already got you a victory. Regardless if it's like at the beginning of a round or like at the, at the beginning of the match or map. Every point matters. Carl Jr. now off to a great start. Stufts with a respawn and this could be the ace for Solary. And the first nail to the coffin on this map for Airwalkers. If they lose this map, it's over. It's over. Yeah. It could be Jover. Very soon. Skaljin and Pack both on great pace yet again. So far ahead of Wizzy, who did not show the best pace on this map so far. Got a good line here, but overslid quite a bit. Gets a good apex though, more speed than pack. Call Jr. on great pace here, could set a point one. If he survives the ending, Wizzy is pushing it, but he over pushed it and will uh, make a mistake. So that is Call Jr. setting a good time. Still not coming close to Gwen's time, which is a 112.88. And that's the ace for Solary. It's 6 to 2. Airwalkers, especially on the tech maps have nothing to say against Team Solary. Against almighty Team Solary. Or just Solary. Yeah. Next round, and again, Pack and Carl Jr. are ahead of Stufz and especially Wizzy, who's already a quarter of a second behind. Oh, very good lines there from the unstoppable duo who could qualify for the World Championship offline final already. If Pack and Carl Jr. win this match, they will move on to Montpellier. Battled out for the price of 25,000 euro. Yeah, just wanted to, to say that. Sponsored by Alienware, Caporel, 
and also AMD. And of course Ubisoft, not there. And Pack and Call Jr. will win this round with an ace. And also a great time, 113.052. And that was a good identity. Coming closer towards the world record. It's 92, one more point needed. And then the first team, the first team is through and will qualify into the offline finals. Solary would have top eight guaranteed. It was already surprising in this way. But uh, Airwalkers show the great performance. Now the question is, what will be going on between uh, Airwalkers and Gravity Pivo? Stuft with great pace, Wizzy as well. Dude, those, those two teams on G-Force, holy bad chest. Wow, this will be so good to see. But there you go, this is the last round and then Pack and Call Jr. will qualify to Montpellier. End of November. The World Championship Playoffs. Still Stuft's bringing up a fight. Good pace was shown by them. So I think if this match happens again in one and a half, one and a half months, we could see another banger. Because with that performance, Stuft and Wizzy, they can match, match the pace. And they can get through. Especially Stu Stuft's. Very good performance from him. And let's take a look onto the checkpoint. Another good checkpoint. Point 25, good pace in general, every time was 113 low, but it wasn't meant to be. Congratulations to Pack and Carl Jr. being the first team qualifying to the offline finals in Montpellier at the end of November. And with that, are already in the top eight. GG's. Was just very hard to beat Solary there. Airwalker hit it on one map. Maybe they could have gotten another one, but I think it uh, would also have been would have been hard. I mean, if it was 3-2 up until this point, Tempest and Tubes are good maps maps for airwalkers, no?